The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 30th, the uh, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone up there is having a great day, and let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of this market. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here but even more important than that, and that's this. During this next uh, 53 minutes, 50, yeah, 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question and you can't call in, Stevie has got your back. Send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, inside our Tigers Den, any ping will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful wednesday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show we begin our day with the mixed bag the mix is coming from the nasdaq 100 of 40 points 127 points for the uh, semis and uh, the xau is down uh, two percent as well the other u.s indices are trading to the upside dow's up 114 s p7 uh, russell's up 13 trend is up 58 You've got uh, gold that's trading up four bucks. Silver's up 57 cents. Natural gas up three pennies. The 30-year treasury is up by nine ticks. And uh, late sweet crude is up a buck 31. Our leaders in the clubhouse, dollar-wise to the upside, it's uh, Garmin Limited. It's found its way. It's up 23% or 39 bucks. Red and Ink up 34 bucks, 41%. Martin Marietta, nearly 3% or $18. Shake Shack up 14%, $16. Saya, the uh, freight company, is up 3%. That's a $15 move there. To the downside, it's Wingstop. Must be serving hot sauce. It's down 18% or 66 buckaroonies. Eli Lilly off 51 bucks, nearly 6%. Mercado Libre off 35 bucks, 1.7%. Uh, Q. Corvo, Corvo, I guess, is down 26 bucks or 26 percent. And Clean Harbors is up 23 bucks. That is a 9 percent move to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day. Take a look at New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator, which should be working its way out of its overbought, oversold condition. We get that oversold condition. We get down to the minus 150 level out here. So that condition just simply needs to be worked off. Uh, so that's what's going on there. We still have that advanced client oscillator below zero. So it's not exactly like buyers are out of the woods or anything along those lines. And that is also the case with regard to the spot fix index. Spot fix index, well, let me just actually try to pull up that chart for you. That would be this one. That would be this one. And we can see the spot fix is trading well above its 50-day exponential movement average. The 50-day at 1859, the spot fix at 1970. Why is that important? That is important. Why? Because we take a look at, generally speaking, how the spot fix trades when uh, uh, how the spot how the S and P trades when the spot fix is above or below the 50-day exponential moving average. That's reflected in these green and yellow boxes and rectangles. The green boxes when the spot fix is below the 50-day. The yellow boxes when the spot fix is above the 50-day. I'll have to color in this uh, current uh, set of. Uh, uh, the most current uh, pattern out here. I'm not going to do that right now. What we just need to know right now is the spot fix is still above the 50-day exponential moving average. We did have some new uh, Apogee uh, pivot points that uh, came in uh, yesterday, late yesterday. 
And uh, so the level to watch for the ES Mini on any rally is 58.86 and a quarter. In the NQ, it's going to be 27.55. Now, when prices below the apogee pivot point, the apogee pivot point is when the moon is uh, uh, furthest from Earth during the current lunar cycle. For some reasons, uh, not that I can share with you. Uh, it just simply seems to act even it's not a random point in time that's for sure it's typically very key levels of support or resistance when you're below it you know unless there's some type of bottom pattern on an intraday chart out there suggesting that you should uh, be to the downside now if we take a look at uh, the silver we can see 3464 is its number uh, light sweet crude that number is 6748 so that's in bullish mode it does have some resistance up here at the 6888 level and you've got the US dollar index it's also below its pivot point at 104.12 so you got US dollar below that key pivot point you've got uh, the ES mini you've got the Nasdaq and you even have uh, gold that's trading below that uh, level right now which is 27.8740 don't know that there's much left on this set of uh, charts right now for us to uh, keep looking at so let's move over and uh, do this we do have a couple of requests that have come in so why don't we start with those and the first one um, let's do this here let me just change my my, my uh, chart and then I will change the screens. And we're, it's uh, Dan in New York who's looking for an entry into the TLT. So we'll look at the TLT, but we're also going to do, we're going to begin our day, take a look at Stevie's eight panel charts for the 30-year treasury. Why is that? Well, if we're going to see a bottom pattern form, uh, first the signal will be coming from the daily time frame. So let's take a look at the daily time frame and see what its signal tells us. Uh, let me just pull this back so you can look at it as well. So we can see that, uh, first of all, what has transpired is that this did have a Rosemontum indicator uh, bottom pattern form. It went ahead and formed that pattern on October 24th, and then two days later, that was on the 28th, that pattern got negated. Uh, so what this then tells us is that we need a bullish reversal candle to confirm its next Rosemontum indicator bottom pattern. What's transpired today is that prices rallied. So here we have this new profile that formed on October 24th, Dan, and uh, uh, that, was the, uh, that was the day that that formed that road's momentum indicator bottom. And price did close above, at that stage, the center of its bullish structured profile. In fact, it looked to me like then price wanted to get up into that 119.10-ish uh, area out there. It didn't do that. In fact, that very next day it went ahead, traded lower, got below that profile level, the bullish structured profile level that it is, negated that signal. Yesterday we closed below that bottom of that bullish structured profile as well. So what that then sets up for you, that sets up that a close above 118, well, let me give you the number exactly, 118.18 out there. That's the level of resistance. That's the level where counter trend moves would fail. And at this stage of the game today, that counter trend move has failed out there. And so that suggests lower price. And as long as we remain below the bottom of its profile, that's likely what we're going to see. So I do not see any kind of a bottom pattern just yet on the daily time frame chart. If we were to see a bottom pattern on the daily time frame, the reason I had pulled up these intraday charts is because we would see bottoming signals on the intraday charts. So interesting here, if we take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, we do not have a bottoming pattern. We have price trading below profile support. That potentially opens up the door for 117. That's its message. I don't see a, a signal on the 60-minute time frame chart. Uh, price is trading below profile support. That profile supported about 117, uh, about 117.30 out there. If I take a look at the two-hour time frame chart, uh, this had a TD9 count top. Uh, that TD9 count uh, topping pattern out here is uh, was negated but now we're trading lower so if this is just a counter trend move to the downside for its 120 minute time frame chart dan price will find support uh at about the 117 26 level we'll be right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're picking apart the uh, intraday charts here for the 30-year uh, Treasury. Uh, the question is, has it bottomed? Um, on the daily time frame chart, it's telling us no. The 30-minute chart is trading below profile support. That's telling us no. Uh, the 60-minute time frame chart, I don't have anything for there. On a 120-minute basis, because price closed above, it's bearish structured. 120-minute profile for more than two consecutive sessions. The key area of support, which it did find support. Um, at uh, 10 o'clock this morning is the uh, center of its profile. And that's at the 117.26 level. So that's the area to be watching there. If price were to find support, um, you know, if, if we look at the four hour and the five hour chart, they both have roads meant to indicate bottom patterns out there. So there's a suggestion that they're attempting to form a uh, bottom out here, but we'd like to see more signals than that. The next signal would be that 117 area. Again, 117.26, does that level hold out there? Um, and then finally, what you want to see is a close above that oscillator and change line. I'm going to open up the daily chart again. That has acted as resistance since the trading day of September 16th. So you got a month and a half where that oscillator and change line has acted as resistance. And what you really want to see there, Dan, is you want to see in order to take a long position in TLT is a close above the center of that profile, which would also be a close above its red oscillator and change line. That's again about 118.18 out there. Now, there was a question. I'll go take a look at the TLT. But the question here is a question coming from uh, Jambalaya, I believe it was, inside the Tiger's Den is, is this a short? Uh, simply, is this a short because of price trading below profile support, finding resistance at the center of that bullish structured uh, daily profile? Um, if it is a short out here, my concern would be you've got the four hour and the five hour charts that have already signaled they're attempting to form a bottom. So if it is a short, I would have to say right now, it would be a short term short out there. And uh, right now you've got the 30 year treasury that is actually testing that key level of support on the two hour time frame. So I'd wait at least to see what's going on there, because in fact, we may see a uh, price hold at this uh, level out there. The day is young. Uh, we're only a few hours into the uh, trading session out there. So that's the best I can provide to you with regard to a short. It's certainly not a long. Is it a short out there? I'd just be concerned. I don't know if there's enough movement to the downside for you to take uh, that type of trade. Uh, but that just depends on how quick you are, are and how, how much you're watching that uh, 
watching this instrument out there. If we go take them and close this down, just to free up some resources, that'll take just a second. And then we'll flip over to the uh, TLT charts. Not that they're going to show us anything different out there, but they may. But we still want to make our action uh, based upon what we see inside those 30-year uh, uh, treasury uh, charts out here. Here's the TLT. In the case of the TLT on a daily time frame, uh, again, now this would suggest that you have a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom pattern as we speak right now, uh, Dan. And the reason is because we have a gap to the upside. And that gap to the upside, again, it's missing all of the other trading of the 30-year treasury. This is why we look at the underlying instrument out there, because we do not have this signal on the daily time frame for the 30-year treasury. But if we looked at the TLT and I did not look at that, then I would tell you the daily, uh, depending on whether or not it keeps that gap open. In order to keep that gap open, price must not close or not trade to a 92.06. So far, the low of the trading session is 92.19. If that gap gets closed, then you would not have any type of bullish reversal candle uh, to give you a uh, signal that you formed a bottom. Price is also below that oscillator and change line. It ran into resistance at 93.24. That was the top of its profile out there. If you look at the weekly time frame chart, no bottom signal here. And the monthly, because we're back inside its profile, could be targeting the 87.71 level. So that's what I've got for you on the TLT, the 30-year treasury. And uh, whether it be long or short, I'd have to say right now, neutral is more likely the uh, call out there. So thanks for those requests, uh, gang. Uh, gang. I, much, I much appreciate it. Let's go on to our next one. This is coming in from a guppy. Uh, inside the Tiger's Den. McGuppy would like to take a Nordic American tankers. McGuppy is looking for a bottom. If we look at the daily time frame chart, what we know is it negated its TD9 count bottom within one trading session. That was on October 23rd. Tell us about a strong downward momentum move out here. Now, I do not see an A to B equals CD pattern. Maybe there's a 0.382 retracement between the low of October 17th and the high of October 18th. It doesn't look like it, but uh, regardless... I don't see a bottom signal. Even if it was an A to B equal CD pattern out there, what we need is a bullish reversal candle to confirm the same, to confirm a bottom signal out there. When I look at the weekly time frame, if you're asking, is 320 going to hold? I don't have anything on my charts. Let me just open them up a little bit further. I don't have anything on my charts to suggest that 320 is a support level for any time frame. So nothing on the daily. Let's take a look at the weekly. We'll get a little bit more data. We're just simply going to open this up even further. I don't have anything on the weekly time frame chart to suggest that 320 is a, a number that will hold. Not that it can't. I'm just simply, I am answering the question based upon the technical indicators that we use that help identify support and resistance and well as, as well as whether there's a top or a bottom out here. And I don't see that. Nordic American Tankers right now looks like you're going to close back inside its profile. Uh, that profile just simply requires a close below 351 tomorrow. We're at 328. And if that's the case, that is suggesting lower price. So, no, I do not see, three, I do not see a bottom pattern out there perhaps you would get that today's bar number seven perhaps you could get that between tomorrow on thursday and next monday and that would be the td9 count bottom pattern out here the weekly time frame though if on friday price closes below the low of august 9th that was the td9 count bottom the bar following bar number nine that low is at 331 that we're at 327 right now that would be another signal of lower price out there for Nordic American tankers. So that's what I see on my charts, McGuppy. I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks for your request. We had a request to take a look at uh, natural gas from YOY inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, actually, I take that, we, well, we did get that request. There was also another request for the US dollar. I forgot to write that in. And that was from Ron, but Ron will uh, will go ahead and get to that. But as long as I'm here on uh, these charts, let's go ahead and take a look at the US dollar index. And the US dollar in, oh, this is actually, Oh, I am. I'm on. OK, I thought I was on uh, natural gas. Why, oh, why? I'm going to come back to that because we are on the U.S. dollar index. Don't worry. Stevie will get it figured out. Uh, it just takes a little while. So the question was basically uh, on the uh, daily and weekly. Are there any signs of a reversal or correction to a 0.382 retrace level? Here's what we've got on the daily U.S. dollar index. We have a TD9 count top. Now, this is not active and live. I'll switch over to my active and live chart out there just simply because it uses a different data feed. But you've got a TD9 count top that's already in place for the daily time frame. If we look at the weekly time frame, again, we're looking at the December contract. Price is right up into a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That breakdown resistance level is at 
104.485. If price closes above that tomorrow, it'll negate that signal on a weekly time frame. It doesn't have to be tomorrow, but if it did, be, oh, the week's not over. I'd probably have some money. If it does close above that on Friday, then you'll have another pattern. Well, here you'll have a pattern that it failed, and I would say that likely the uh, TD9 count top would fail on the daily time frame. Monthly's not going to give us a lot of data out here. Now, you'll also see that we have a new profile. So where's your first level of support? The first level of support would be at its green oscillator and change line, approximately 103.86. What's the actual low of the day today? Now, you don't see that, but the low of today, 103.85. So that first key level of support held. We come back from this break. I'll switch over to my black background screens. We'll give you those profile levels. And uh, then we come back after that. We'll take a look at natural gas for why. Oh, why? We'll be right back. wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a U.S. dollar. This is for Ron inside our Tiger's Den. This is the uh, live chart, although it does have a 10-minute delay on it. So we're taking a look at the U.S. dollar index. We already identified the TD9 count top. We looked at Stevie's white background charts. Here, this is a slightly bullish structured profile. The buy zone for the dollar is between 103.54 and 103.83 out there. So I think you were asking, will this get back to a 0.382 retracement level out there? So if we take a look at its move, let me make sure I've got that tool on. We do. If we take a look at from the low to the high out here, the 0.382 retracement gets you back to the 102.74 level. So we don't see that just yet. And the reason we don't see that just yet is because price is just simply consolidating with inside its bullish structured profile. If price were to close below 103.54, then yes, Ron, I would say the next move would be back towards that 0.382 retracement of the entire move. And that would take you back to the 102.74 level out there. By taking a look at the U.S. dollar index, now here, I've got the December contract only in the daily time frame. I've got my synthetic version in the um, upper uh, right and uh, two lower panels out there so I can grab enough data and get profiles out there. And this, uh, if we take a look at the uh, weekly time frame chart, we can see price trading in between descending uh, trend line resistance and rising uh, price channel or rise, rising trend line support out there. So we are at a key area of resistance. We're also at the top of its weekly profile at 104.20. So that's another key level out there. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index for its monthly time frame, a price been, had been, is consolidated with inside its daily, of what, its monthly profile. However, and it's a bullish structured profile, and support is held. But resistance, we've only seen rallies up to the 105.57 level. So I would say this, if we see the daily TD9 count uh, topping pattern fail, we're likely going to get up to the 105.57 level. Of course, what we have to also do is understand what the underlying instruments are communicating to us. And so for that, we will go ahead and flip back to the euro, the yen, and the uh, pound charts out there, daily and weekly. Why am I only taking a look at these three? Because these three instruments represent 83% of the total U.S. dollar index. So if we get these right, we can pretty much get the uh, U.S. dollar right. Now here, you can see the euro upper left-hand corner did form a TD9 count bottom pattern out there. And today is the first day where it looks like we will get a close above its oscillator and change line. We have not been seen a close above its oscillator and change line since September 27th. So for over a month out there, a close above that is going to suggest that the euro wants to rally towards 1.0953. That's a TD9 count breakdown level uh, forming after its uh, TD9 count bottom pattern out there. If, in fact, the euro moves higher, that's going to put pressure on the U.S. dollar index to move lower. But does that mean that the U.S. dollar index would close below support at 103.54? No, not necessarily, because we've got the yen to contend with, as well as a great British pound. As an example, as the yen is moving higher here, that says that the U.S. dollar index is getting stronger. Now, that's a 14% weighting versus a 57% weighting inside the euro. What the yen needs in order for it to get stronger and the dollar to get weaker, right now it needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodesmentum indicator top. However, if in fact the U.S. dollar Japanese yen can spike above, whether it's today, tomorrow, or the next day, if it can spike above 153.87, then what we're likely to get is a TD9 count top. We still have to deal with closes. Bar number eight's got to close above the close of bar number four, bar number nine, close of bar number five. So it still needs to fulfill those requirements. A bearish reversal candle would, though, form a uh, Rhodesman to mitigator top as well as a sell the D point top. Short of that, price is going to likely head higher. The question is when. Does it do it today, tomorrow? or Friday to generate that TD9 count top. But if it doesn't, then it's just signaling to you and I that it wants to continue to rally. Where would it want to rally up towards? It would want to rally up towards 158. If, in fact, that's what's going on here, we're going to see the yen get weaker and the dollar get stronger. How about the Great British Pound? The Great British Pound does not have a bottoming pattern out here. What we do have is price yesterday rallied into its oscillator and change line. Price has not been above the oscillator and change line on a daily basis since September 30th, so for a full month. If we do get a close above this level, by the way, the oscillator and change line here is a 1.3003 out there. If we get a close above that, that may just lead to a rally 
towards breakdown resistance. And where this broke down at was at 1.3077. Of course, if the, if the pound is moving higher, it's getting stronger. The U.S. dollar index is getting weaker. So we won't go take a look at the Canadian loonie or the uh, Swiss uh, franc or the Swedish krona out there. Those would be the other three pairs that would make up the other 17% of the U.S. dollar index out there. So how do we put this in motion? You know, maybe we're going to see is more of a sideways-ish type move until the yen and the pound really tell us what their intentions are. Uh, but that's what I see when I take the U.S. dollar index at this stage here. I do not see a 0.382 correction. And the only way we get that run, I know this has been a long time out here, is a close below 103.54. But we don't really have that many requests out there. So not bad to find a time to be thorough about that. So I hope that that helped you out and didn't confuse you in any way. And if it did, well, my apology. And uh, let me know and I'll try to... Uh, I'll just simply try to uh, restate it in a different way. Now, why, oh, why wants to take a look at natural gas? Not not why, but he wants to take a look at natural gas. And his question is really about natural gas and the UNG. Now, with regard to the UNG out here, where am I at? Am I on the white background screens? I am. So if we take a look at the UNG, the all, its holdings are entirely of the December contract. And that's what we're going to go take a look at out here. So December contract is uh, that we're going to look at natural gas. Um, and that says that this is what's inside the UNG. So there shouldn't be any real discrepancies at this stage. Now, I don't know if uh, if uh, when they closed out any other positions inside the UNG. I didn't really study it from that standpoint. But now that we at least have that clear, at least as far as today. So what do we know about uh, natural gas? Natural gas negated its TD9 count daily bottom pattern on October 18th. And that suggests lower price. Well, it turns out that as the week was coming to an end last week, the weekly chart confirmed a road momentum indicator bottom. However, price remains below that red oscillator and change line and below prop profile levels. What that suggests to me, why, is that uh, price, this is going to sound like a uh, Abbott Costello um, uh, skit here, uh, who's on first and was it what's that's on second? And uh, who's pitching? I don't know. I think it was something along those lines. I always thought that I can remember as a kid. My earliest memories probably are watching Abbott Costello on Sunday mornings, I think, is when they were on as a, a kid. Uh, my dad loved him as well. In any event, uh, it looks to me like uh, why what Price wants to do is get back and retest the low of last week. I'm not saying it's going to do that today or tomorrow. Now, Price has got down during the day today pretty close to that. It, and when I say pretty close, to that, I'm referring to the bottom of its bullish structured profile. And that's the only thing that could really hold this thing up. And the buy range is between 275 and 284 out there. The monthly chart looks basically awful. Awful, no bottom patterns out here. It's really suggesting over time we could see natural gas get back to the June 2020 lows and the 250 level out there. Now let's switch and um, now let's switch over and take a look at the um, at UNG. Now I only have this up on my screen here for a moment because we're going to a break. But if we take a look at UNG, um, I do not see any kind of an island top out there um, at all. Yes, it gapped down a few days ago, but right in the support. That was the bottom of his profile at 13.17. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol LLY. That is Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly had formed a TD9 count daily top on the trade day of August the 23rd. And now it is forming an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Let's draw in that one to one level if we can. Oh shoot, let's, uh, let's get the uh, actual line tool out here. So here's our A to B line. Looks like we've at least attained the one to one level. Uh, as we speak this morning, I'm just simply gonna move that over to the C point, the highest high after the B point out there. And yeah, so we're at about the one to 1 1.618, it looks like, but you've got a gap to the downside. That's not a bullish reversal candle. However, it has fought its lows out here. So what are we doing on a daily basis? We are testing the swing point, testing and rejecting its swing point for the trading day of August 5th. That August 5th had a volume of 4.6 million shares. The high of that swing point is 792.94. We're trading at 847. Again, the volume there, 4.6 million shares. Today, we have already done 12 million shares. Now, when you test and reject a swing point with volume, oftentimes we will get a retest of that swing point. Now, it just may be the high of that swing point, and the high again being 792.94. We look at the weekly time frame chart. This has a road momentum indicator top. And what uh, has transpired this morning is price got back to test support, 792.55. That was the bottom of its profile. So there's a possibility that even though we don't have a bullish reversal candle, that uh, a bottom has formed. And what I mean by that is because, you know, we've got price getting back to support on a weekly basis and that held. And we've rejected that swing point, but we've rejected it with volume. So, Marvin, if you're looking for an entry point, which you are, what I would suggest is waiting to see if you can get a retest of that swing point from uh, August the 5th, maybe tomorrow, maybe on Friday out there. That means simply just simply pulling back. Retesting 792.94, but doing it with less volume out there. And again, that volume was 4.6 million shares. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, which has a, a TD9 count top, and this monthly chart's going to end tomorrow. What price has done today is price has pulled back and it's tested. That was a bearish structured profile. It has tested and rejected the center of that profile, 804.32. And we're trading above the top of that monthly profile. And that's at the 844.77 level. So its signal here, even though you've got a top, its work to the downside at this stage has been completed because it did find support where it should have, just as the weekly chart has done that. And on the daily time frame chart, it's just the volume piece of it that has a, say, caution 
Well, that's specifically what's coming from OB1 out there. So I'd wait on this um, and uh, see if you get that retest of that swing high. So hope that helped you out, Marvin. Always good to hear from you. Thanks much for checking in. Uh, Dan, inside the Tiger's Den, would like to take a look at ticker symbol T-E-R-N. Dan's being kind enough uh, to give everybody a potential trade out there. What do you mean, a potential trade, Stevie? Well, take a look at this set of charts out here. You've got a TD nine count bottom that's going to go ahead and complete today. The pattern formed yesterday. A new profile formed yesterday on the daily time frame. And this is turns pharmaceuticals, and you're trading above the top of that profile. The top of that profile is 707. Now that's a level to watch at day's end. At 11:45, it tells us that it's certainly trying to break through resistance, generated a profile change in trend signal. Now, if it does that from a trading standpoint, that would then suggest that price would rally further. The rally further level is at 776. Remember, we said that this formed a TD9 count bottom. That establishes a breakdown resistance level, and that's the 776 level. So I would say a close day above 707 gets us to 776. It may even get us to 791. What is it 791, Stevie? Well, if we can take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we see last week closed below profile support, but that was only week one, that being 691. We're back above that now. That says that last week's signal was a false breakdown. We're inside a bullish structured profile. So its next level of resistance would both be its oscillator and change line and the center of its profile, both right around the 791 level. So I would say a close today above 707, Dan, gets us towards 770, 776 and uh, 791. And if it closes above 791, well, that's going to signal that turn is getting ready to go shoot for the stars. And those stars don't show up until you get to $10.90. That would be the top of its weekly profile. On a monthly basis out here, uh, price is uh, back below its monthly profile. You'd love to see it close the month above that level, that level being seven um, 728. What happens if it doesn't close above that level? Really not much. So to speak, it would just be a better picture if, in fact, it could do that. So we like turn. Uh, everybody inside the den and others that are listening in say thank you. That is a definite potential trade setup for you. Just realize where resistance is at. Make sure you have your uh, stop in place out there. It has a average daily price movement over the last 10 days of 45 pennies. So your stop has got to be at least 45 cents. I'd multiply 45 cents times 1.272 or 1.1.618. I would prefer to use the latter out there and use that to help you with your position sizing. If you're not feeling familiar with position sizing, uh, I've got a workshop on that. That'll get you right up to speed, and that's perhaps one of the most important things to learn about trading out there. So, Dan, I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, turn. Nice spotting on your part. Uh, Mohammed writes in, and Mohammed would like to take a look at uh, Biogen, B -I, I B out here. So let's go take a look at it. We take a look at Biogen. Uh, what do we see? We see this moving lower, trading below profile support on a daily basis at 182.68. It has triggered a road momentum indicator signal. That requires a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. Uh, I don't recall your question. Let me see here. See if I can still get to it. Hope all is well. If you could please, Bib. And so, so just really take a look at it. So the daily chart says Biogen wants to head lower. The weekly chart says Biogen wants to head lower. We saw a rally this week right up into its red oscillator and change line. It tested rejected now we're below profile support. Lower is its message. The same is true with regard to uh, uh, the monthly time frame chart. The monthly time frame chart appears that it will negate a TD9 count bottom that formed in April of 2024 and it will accomplish that task tomorrow with a close below 189.44. We're at 180. 44 right now. So where is this thing headed to? That would be a great question. Let's see if Stevie can answer it. So that's got some A to B equals CD price action out here. The daily a monthly time frame chart. What is that telling us? What's the bigger picture here? What is the bigger picture here? So you'd have to, for the A to B equals CD, to really get a good A to B equals CD pattern long term on a monthly basis, what we'd have to do, or what Stevie's going to do, I'm going to use the high that takes all the way back into March of 2015. Now, because the high, the next high that forms is up, you know what, that may not even, that's not even going to be a point, uh, now that's above a 0.786 retracement. So I can't, I don't have that A to B equals CD pattern. The only one that I would have, so let's redraw this one in here on a monthly basis. 
Uh, now let's get uh, our bearing straight. So we're going to use the high from the week of uh, June 21. We're going to take it down to its TD9 count bottom. And I'm just simply going to move that into the highest high that forms after that. Uh, that's right here. And that says that you could get Biogen all the way down to 31 bucks over time out here. Now, the volume on that swing point is, uh, that's May of 2022, 25 million shares. And this month, we're at 28 million already. So, Mohammed, thanks for even bringing this up. Biogen, BIIB, is going to confirm a monthly A to B equals CD down pattern that would take us down towards the $30 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We've got two requests going into the uh, closeout here. The first one is a take look at LZ. This is Legal Zoom. This is for Mohammed as well. So, Mohammed, you've got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That price projection level gets us into the 760 ish area out there. I uh, don't see anything on the daily time frame to keep us away from that unfolding, nor do I see anything in the way on the weekly or the monthly time frame chart. In fact, the monthly time frame chart has a confirmed Roach Mintum indicator bottom. It did that in the month of August when it formed a bullish hammer 
summer candle. Right now we've got a, a bullish engulfing candle. So you got doble ghee out there. I don't know what that means. I just simply say it. And uh, But you've, you've got a clearly, this is attempting to form a significant bottom out here. I don't have that same signal on the uh, weekly time frame chart out here. Uh, but what this is doing is trading below profile support, trading above last week's high. We have seen simply since the uh, week of October 4th, nothing but higher lows out there. This suggests to Stevie that the daily should continue its rally up towards this A to B equal CD. Now, that one-to-one -one price projection in the 760 area does not mean that's where price will top out. That's just simply it's a price objective out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at LZ. I hope that helps you out, uh, Mohammed. Let's take a look at the NQs out here. Uh, you know, visual inside the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at these. So, you know, what we have out here, the NQ on the daily time frame has given us the signal by closing above the top of its daily profile, by trading above its green oscillator and change line. Now for two consecutive sessions, that price should rally up towards its all-time high and the 21, 237, 75 area out there. So that's its signal to us. If we look at the intraday charts out here, um, I see a five-hour, potential five-hour wave number seven, top out there. I'd really have to investigate whether that's the case. We just simply right now have price and found support at the bottom of its profile. So even if that was a top, it has uh, uh, ob obtained its objective, which was testing and in this case here, rejecting support. Consolidation on the 240 minute chart found support at the bottom of its profile at 2610 out there. You got a TD9 count bottom pattern on the uh, 15 minute basis out here. Uh, so it does look like to Stevie, the NQ wants to rally further. Folks, thanks so much for joining me on Wonderful Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please come back tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp, and uh, just be safe out there. Have a terrific day. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.